greetings greetings my people i hope uh, you can pick my voice let me check facebook just notify me that my key has been released from prison <laughs> after they have released innocent facebook now released my key but uh, no problem no wala as far as they know the potential in middle african television that's why whenever nigeria is about to commit their rubbish crime they will seize my key so sound check sound check can you hear me okay good i can hear myself that means you are hearing me so good day my people merry christmas in advance i will still come back if they won't if they don't seize my key for us to celebrate together happy new year and whatever i actually for in the language but now christmas is fast approaching in europe most of them they celebrate their christmas on the 24th night in africa we do celebrate them on the 25th so so what am i not saying today is a special day greetings to all of you and special thanks to those that are adding me in friends list those that value and try to be my friends on facebook god shall bless you god will be with you um as all of us can see a lot of things have been happening in nigeria all these days you know a country that cannot provide job for their citizens nor care about the so-called uh, 200 million citizens that made them the elephant of africa they don't value you they don't know your worth they only behave like a mother that has no feeling for the family that can only open her nyash and throw away a child and doesn't even care whether that child will eat nor die off blocking my streaming key nigeria will not save you it will never be a safe heaven rather the pen got to be double i have to tell you the simple truth my people do you remember during the time 1999 when obasanjo became nigerian president all of us can still remember when Okadibo was the seated president, late Okadibo, the man who took the staff of authority to his mother's kitchen. That is the day I started building strong interest in Nigerian politics. Okadibo, late Okadibo, is the person that activated the, politi the politicking in me. Um, that man made me to understand the 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 level of nigerian politics that made me that man made me to wake up to see the type of politicians that are operating in nigeria and under that man we saw bags of money from obasanjo obasanjo is the father of corruption in nigeria i mean after military rule he had been forming his oligarchs, even though the Buhari that is everybody, everybody is insulting Buhari today. Don't forget that Buhari is in that power because of Abbasanjo. So, for me not to deviate from what I'm about to say tonight, it's all about innocence, our brother. And the issue that involved Abbasanjo in this issue is because of EFCC. EFCC is being created by Abbasanjo. For the first time in nigeria and uh, the duty of EFCC, efcc is to go about the governmental bodies investigate research financial crime b 
been committed by politicians, both in higher level, local level, or medium level. To our best understanding, EFCC have been turned into a tool to fight opponents in Nigeria. EFCC is no longer an independent body that's supposed to be fighting crime for the ordinary man in that Nigeria. Because that body Obasanjo created, that EFCC, is being created to save your life, to save your economy, to save the looting from Nigeria. But one question that Nigerians should ask themselves is this. Is EFCC independent? Should EFCC become independent one day? Why must a president form EFCC without the backing of the Federal High Court, Supreme High Court, authorizing and the Senate giving them the full authority to operate as an independent body, but being overlooked and being controlled by the Senate of the Federation? No. They bundled EFCC and placed the authority of EFCC under the carpet of the presidency and for the protection of the oligarchs operating under the platform of Nigerian presidency. EFCC, I'm not insulting you, but you have thrown yourself into those bin like a pig. Sorry. You, do you know the day I realized that you have mixed up EFCC? Is the day you started moving against boys operating on Facebook talking about Biafra. Whenever they land in airport, you pick them up. Did they commit anything financial crime? No. We know EFCC that they fight for financial crime in governmental bodies. But you have taken over the duty of the Nigerian police, Nigerian CID, Nigerian SSS, Nigerian secret agencies that are operating to, uh, even the Nigerian Defense Corps of the Federation. EFCC, due to they are operating under the carpet of the presidency, taking order from the president, and they are now moving away from the rule of law that's supposed to protect the ordinary man on the street. If you people can still recall, Far back when Ojo Zokano was the governor of Abia State. And there were crimes operating in Aba by then. All of a sudden, from the shoe line, um, Bakasi boys start existing. And you know that these Bakasi boys did their job very well at the beginning. But at the later on, nobody oversees Bakasi, nobody controls them. There is no longer job to do. What did Bakasi did? Bakasi start behaving like EFCC today. EFCC, there is nothing different from EFCC and Bakasi in Nigeria. Because there was a time Bakasi started going and making peace. Even uh, if man and woman, uh, if man uh, asked the woman uh, something for night, the woman refused. EFC, um, Bakasi can conquer the woman tomorrow to question her if she has boyfriend outside the marriage. Now, EFCC, that is there to fight for financial crime, and now leaving the territory of their judici uh, um, 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 uh, oppression, jumping into civilians' life. Imagine you, like me, has issues with your bank, like Innocent. Innocent is not a politician. Innocent has nothing to do. Do you know that there is no law? There is one brother, a barrister, one of the groups that are defending the Namde. I interviewed him on this. He said to me that Nigeria has no law. That Nigeria has law, but they never respect their law. That even though the Supreme Court of Nigeria will give you bail authority to bail somebody and police recruit will tear that papers apart. And nothing will happen. To tell you they don't know their right. Nor the law of the federation. Imagine where EFCC. Jumped into civilian life. No longer governmental body. Individual. A citizen of Nigeria. 
is did business with a bank that is a corporate body in Nigeria. It's not even concerning government in anything. It's like a company that came into Nigeria, acquired their license to operate. It's like me now going to your shop, asking you that I don't have money to pay. Please, I need rice and beans. But if they pay me my salary, I will pay you. If EFCC will jump into innocence and bank, GT bank issue, that means any person selling rice and beans on Oshodi and you borrowed rice from him, month has end, even though the third month you haven't paid, they have every right now to call on EFCC to arrest you so that people will bail you because you refuse to pay them the promise you made after collecting the rice. To such a thing happen in Nigeria? Is that how a nation works nor run? I was watching a video where the Senate of the Federation we are condemning the attitude of EFCC. Only condemning in their parliament. Is that how a nation should caution and make correction so that such a useless mo molesting Thing will never happen again. No, they did not take their duties as sinners. Rather, they stand to condemn, stand to caution. Do you want that nation to be great? Or you, this nation and cabals and oligarchs have been formed to suppress the only tribe, I do call them the wrong tribe in Nigeria. And Yoba was kidnapped by the same people, don't forget, before the election in Anambra State. Today is innocent. Who is next? If you can recall all my videos that I made before, I do say something. I said, any animal that distance itself from his people, from their group, is a target to the predator. Any person that distanced himself from Biafra, from his real identity, he will face what Andyoba innocent are facing today. But I'm not in support of what is happening. But I'm only advising, identify yourself with your people. If you, dear, have eggs in your blockers to tell Nigeria, I am a Biafran. I quote you, today's date is 22nd of December. No man born by a woman will touch you in Nigeria. I mean these millionaires operating, distancing themselves from the ordinary Pierre France. The earlier you start identifying yourself as a Pierre France is the more security you become. But I will use this opportunity to praise the evil people, the lovers of their brother. The people who realized that it's only innocent that saw the potential of creating job in that federation and he brought it home. Innocent. If he didn't employ people in Nigeria, he employed up to 50 to 100,000 workers. I am calling thousands, not 100. 100,000 workers feeding their family from this man's wallet. Don't forget, the time I entered Nigeria, there was a law that has been in existence by then. By that time, Pijot, we are assembling, assembling their cars in Nigeria. And Nigeria made a law that says any car that has been assembled in Nigeria should be Nigerian official cars. Today, Innocent is assembling cars in Nigeria. Do you know that they quietly edited that law? They use um, um, what they call it, a uh, cleaner that they use to clean pencil. They clean that part and rewrite it. Instead of them to patronize an Igbo man for him to grow and become empire tomorrow. This innocent doesn't build only cars in Nigeria. Innocent have refurbished all the whole Nigerian jet fighters and helicopters that the Germans, that Germans says that they don't have their pass again. Innocent can can build the backbone of this so-called Nigeria. 
But the thing that is holding Nigeria back that they will never grow nor see the back of China nor leave the position where they are today is because of one thing, hatred on Igbos. Hatred on Igbos. Obasanjo have been pressing on the ground to make sure that Innocent move this business to Lagos. Innocent have been resisting this pressure. Do you know that they pressurize Innocent? That all the whole properties that he used the money he borrowed to buy belongs to the bank. That is, Article 419, obtained by tricks, is against Nigerian constitution. To, to borrow somebody money, indirectly, you want to use that money you borrowed him to seize his property. To seize his investment. And all these things, all these sufferings that we, the Igbos, are suffering today, started from Abbasanjo. Because I can remember the time of Abacha. Abacha entered power, trying to turn himself to civilian president. I can remember our brother um, from Oweri. Oh, what, what's his name again? Um, Iwanyawu. Iwanyawu was in a good contact with Abacha's wife. Iwanyawu rises and joined the group of anti Abacha. Abacha called him and said, My friend, I am not in this position because of the Igbos. Please get out of my way. Let me deal with the Yorubas. Do you know what we fail to understand, my people? We think that our problem is Hausa. The problem of Igbo man in Nigeria is not Hausa. Because Hausa never accept with the so-called haters of Igbos. Hausa man prefer to live with an Igbo man than other people. The problem we are facing in Nigeria is the Yorubas. Majority of you people are watching Yoruba people making videos, talking in your favor, talking about the Biafran, telling you how stupid your elites are. But their own elites are 1,001 stupid than the Igbos. Igbos can even complain when their shoes are penning them. How many Yorubas have you seen that have raised up their voice to condemn? Those that supported Biafra are those that want to come out for politics. The governor from Yoruba land and the, the other one that want to become the vice president. We know all this game. They use Igbos like toilet troll when they need them. After getting out of the toilet, they flush them out and go their way. Let me tell you this thing clear. The problem of our people, unless you can be able to pinpoint your problem in Nigeria, Hausas are only after oil. Let's say the fact. But those that understand the potential of Igbo people in terms of buying and selling business are the Yorubas. The Yorubas that are today making videos on YouTube and, and, and Facebook talking in favor of Biafra, talking in favor of Igbos, while they are carrying stones of problem in their own eyes. You leave it, but you are seeing my own. Today, Igbos may be seeing themselves as third class citizens. It's a lie. Because we and Yorubas are in the same position. Even our own position is even more better. Because the seaport that is operating in Lagos is true. Obasanjo squeezed all our seaport in Eastern Region and International Airport and press everybody to Lagos. We know that very well. But upon that these seaports are in Lagos, who are the controllers of all these seaports? Who is the general controller of, of Nigerian immigration and customs? It's the same house. Eurobars are still conductors and caretakers and gate guiders in Lagos State. That's why I said, Igbos, you are not you are not good man to nobody. You're only fighting for your right in a higher level. You're only fighting for your people in that federation. Others are conducive in the condition they find themselves. It's only the Igbo people that travel abroad, comes back and see the condition of things back home that says, no, we're supposed to improve the life of our people. Do you know that life expectancy of Nigerians in the international class is 40 years? What is 40 years? A child of 25 get to 30, got married, 
40 as from 40 they have started expecting you to die due to the condition of hardship and pattern operating in nigeria the issue of innocent my people i will ask any other person that has account with gtb bank go and show the power of an Igbo man imagine the millions the billions Igbos are banking in this bank is what they lend to our brother it is our money only that it passes through their channel and get into our brother's hand and this our brother is developing Igbo land he did not move to any other part and he's creating job in Igbo land and in, in inocris um 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 groups there you will find a lot of Igbos in higher level if you go to gt gt bank no Igbo man is in higher level all of them are in offices running about with their tear trouser and ben ben shoes that is where the level of an Igbo man ends in those banks why must you bank in those banks go and withdraw your money from that bank there are millions of banks in nigeria go to other banks show gtb bank that we the Igbos, are the blood of your system without we you are nobody go and call the eurobars and our side to come and back with you Igbos, go and show nigeria that we we have realized our potential you know since these things have been happening they have been blocking my keys so that i will not speak my people go and withdraw close your account and let me tell you something i get an information that they will ask you this time around to fill a form and do this and do that that account is your account that money is yours you have every fundamental right to terminate the cooperation of you and that bank at any given time it is in the agreement you sign with them if they refuse to withdraw your money or transfer your money you have every right to take biafran lawyer biafran lawyers are there to battle and these biafran lawyers let me tell you something if these guys are coming to you reach an agreement with them don't charge them but fight to win the case if you win the case the bank got to pay all the whole damages because they have no right to seize anybody's account or money to promote you to other i mean to postpone it or to post you to next week or whatever to calm your spirit never you allow anything to calm your spirit you call yourself children of god there are ways children of god operate do you know the aunt they call eruru in Igbo land have you seen how this eruru operate if you can be able to sit down inside forest watch eruru monitor eruru eruru is a family and all of them are military men when they target any family even though it's a goat they will attack that goat in the night and they will most surely no matter whatever the owner of the house is doing that goat must die Igbos today should know the potential in them and know the value that they have as a citizen of that country and the heartbeat of that federation is Igbo. if you don't know it know it today if you want to know your potential in nigeria i quote you before one month gt bank will froze if all of you withdraw your money to tell you it is your money that they are using to create their branches and make big man and when you come they look at you as a foolish person withdraw your money and close that account down go to another bank and open an account they will welcome you with both of their arms they will they will value you the gt bank wants to destroy the integrity of an able man and look at how it is working two civilians are doing something and efcc jumped in to this extent i got an information that this man was bailed who collected that bail does nigeria has constitution does nigeria has law who authorized efcc to operate in this field why should they arrest an individual operating in nigeria 
does does um innocent has any connection with federal government does innocent cars belong to federal government finance something who efcc i have i have 1001 question for you who gave you the authority what what authorizes you to come out and jump into civilians life you were built and uh, uh, produced to operate in governmental level financial crime on governmental political arena now you are transparent maybe tomorrow i may call efcc that uh, my neighbor have tried to cross the boundary of my land and you may call efcc that uh, your wife is no longer patronizing you as she normally do they should come and verify this woman maybe she has boyfriend outside that should be the duties of efcc today because they have made us to understand that th that is what they can do that is their duty to uh, do all this rubbish i am putting this video on the background since Obasanjo regime, Obasanjo have been bounding things, and all things that Nigeria have been bounding. I will play something for you. My computer will read something for you. Please pay attention. The list of goods being bound in Nigeria. <laughs> list of goods being bound in Nigeria. And these goods that are being bound in Nigeria, um, Innocent did not commit anyone. Innocent did not go against it. But a lot of elites in Nigeria, a lot of elites in Nigeria, I will play something, you will listen to it. My computer got to it because I cannot read it alone, it's many. You will see that everything they are importing, the ones Eurobas are doing as secure, the ones our are doing as secure, the only one eBay to try to do is now bound and destroy the license collected. Listen attentively, my people. God bless you as you listen now. What did you hear? They said spaghetti slash noodle. Are they not say, selling spaghetti in Nigeria? If you can hear me, please, my brother, write. Are they not selling spaghetti in Nigeria? Eh? Is there nothing like uh, sugar? Sugar, not in Nigeria. Who they import sugar? Who they import spaghetti? Now, who they import? They say noodle. That means, um, what they call it, this is one of the eat. Um, um this thing world of food they eat now for nigeria what is is playing i i it's playing my brother maybe the, the voice will come L let me read it out um they said that you remember pork beef bed eggs all these eggs and everything is i remember both uh, turkey and all those things that they enter from lagos now from that side that one they come and they said cocoa butter powder and cakes are also bound in nigeria even spaghetti and noodle are bound if spaghetti and noodle is bound but i know that one person they important without federal government interfering fruit juice are even bound in nigeria are we producing anyone no Cement is against Nigerian law to import cement. But only one person loses license of importation of cement. That is Ibeto, Ibo man. But somebody keep on importing and importing and importing and importing. And nothing happens. You know? Even though the common medicine that we use here in Germany, they call it paracetamol. If a child is sick, they will buy paracetamol syrup. But paracetamol tablet and syrup is banned in Nigeria. Do they want you to see tomorrow? Multivitamin tablets, multivitamin syrups are bound. As 
aspirin tablet is even bound. Even magnesium, all those things are bound. Soap, eh? detergent, are also bound. Mosquito coil is bound. But all those things are operating in Nigeria. Who they carry them come? Telephone recharge card is for prohibited in Nigeria. How come these things are entering? You know? <laughs> Textile materials. Now that place Igbo people day, but they put them under bound. Footwears. I remember the time Obasanjo banned it for the first time. Obasanjo is the first president that banned footwears that come from Asia. But they did not support Abamed for Abamed to grow. They still press Abamed to destroy it and close all the business of Igbo people. They said use compressors or refrigerators. Where are we producing refrigerators? No. Everybody is using fridge today to drink cold water in Nigeria in that hot sun because of Igbo people. But because of those things that are coming from wrong tribe, hated people, they put it on ban too. You know? Oh, my people. Use vehicles. Use motor vehicles. It's also prohibited. The ones that is above 15 years. Now, which people they do in protection of cars? Now, the same condemned tribe. So, I'm coming to the interesting side of it. Interesting side of it. The Central Bank of Nigeria says, if you are going into the business I'm about to mention, that the, no bank in Nigeria is allowed to give you dollar to transact that business. What did I say? The business I'm about to mention in Nigeria, if you are about to enter into this business, you should go somewhere else and look for your dollar. That the federal government will never ever render you credit or give you dollars, convert your naira to dollar for you to purchase distance. One, rice. My people, my people, my people, let's tell ourselves the truth. If we made a law that says this hand cream, this hand cream I'm showing you, that if you want to do business on hand, this hand cream, that we are not going to convert your naira to dollar for you. Go to Kotonu, go to Ghana, go and buy your dollar. We will never ever finance that business. Now who they, fin who they give Dangote dollar when they take the operate? Rice is prohibited. Nigerian, bank, Nigerian banks are not allowed to give any businessman dollar to do this business. Cement is not allowed. They call the other one margarine margarine that is butter you know it's not allowed palm kernel palm oil palm production palm vegetable oil all these things are prohibited and i know that dangote is into this business meat and meat processing product all those things are dangote process because they do the dangote brought in uh, corned beef you know so vegetable oil and pro both processing and non-processed ones those people are those things poultry chicken eggs turkey are they not running? <laughs> Pri okay, my people, listen, you know, listen very well. The one I'm about to mention now. They say that bank can never give you dollar to buy private jet or private plane. Hey, whoa. Did innocent, innocent go buy these things? Who, chai, my people. There are people who is above the law inside Nigeria. There are people who, hmm. They say that uh, <laughs> this India incense is also prohibited. Tin fish in sauce or geisha or sardine. Um, this sardine, I have been mentioning this sardine before. This sardine, I went to Africa. In Lagos, you see sardine, fresh ones flowing about. In my village, you will see sardine have expired almost three years ago. They are still selling it. <laughs> Um, the other one is um, cold road uh, steel that is steel production. I know that we are into steel and um, roofing shield. I know that a lot of send down the rain and other things that they are using to roof houses are entering Nigeria. Oh, um, head pines and uh, a lot of things are here. Oops. Which one am I going to mention? So, wood, 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 wood. A lot of things, glasses and glassware. Kitchen utensils is also prohibited. Tablewares are also prohibited. Textile are also prohibited. Clothes are also prohibited. So that you go and buy this uh, uh, abananya where you're about to produce. 
it will never happen it will never work for them plastic and rubber production i know that the robots are producing plastic that's why robots and jump block all these things soaps and cosmetics are so prohibited tomato and tomato okay now let me come the last one is it says government will never give you dollar to go and buy tomato or tomato paste i could remember the time they have tomato crisis in nigeria I have somebody in Cameroon that says that how was Nigeria are moving into Cameroon to import tomatoes from Cameroon and brought it into Nigeria and then sell it to other Nigerians. These things now that they have bound, nobody will tap on them. I mean, no ordinary man that is a Nigerian, being Igbo man, will tamper these things. But if you are from other tribes, nothing will happen to you. Omo kilo shele, omo kilo de, nna go na, nna go na, nna go go cross. But if you know the way na nye mini, na nye mini, na whatever they call it, you know about the colors na omo lo shi niye, this omo lo shi, omo lo buruku niye, omo ibo niye, if they catch them, they go, they go destroy everything. That container where you see there, na somebody's goose, somebody importation, Nigerian custom, confiscate everything and now they are destroying it they will not destroy it too. in front of you they will destroy it too and tell you that by tomorrow they are going to burn all of them next tomorrow you will see this in inside market somebody else have already buried it and start selling it who is fooling who why are they still holding us in that country calling us one nigeria are we one nigeria we are not one nigeria and we can never be one Igbos have tried to, to, to patronize Nigeria, to make Nigeria to believe that we are one people. Igbos have done a lot of things. Igbos have invested in all parts of Nigeria. Igbos have spread all over Nigeria. Igbos have promoted what they call one Nigeria. But what do they get in return? Stabbing at the back. Stabbing at the back. Stabbing at the back. How long do you people think that Igbos are going to endure this thing? Today, they are enduring it. I don't think that they will endure it too long. Today, you are killing them. I don't think that you kill them too long. But don't tell the world that I did not warn you that everything has an end. You may push somebody who is like a mumu, who is like an idiot, who is like he doesn't have head. You may push him to the wall, but a day will come he will revoke. And when he will revoke, you will never ever tell the world what you committed. The crime that you committed against them. Today, you are jumping in on, on, um, on uh, um, 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 capital oil. From capital oil, you are jumping to um, 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 innocent. Even the EFCC people that arrested innocent said that uh, he's not even producing any car. No, be this assembly, we're in the assembly. How many have Nigeria given to you? How many industries have Nigeria built for you? How many jobs have Nigeria created? Eh? These opportunities that through connection, connection, you get into EFCC. Today, you are terrorizing everybody. Innocent, I, I may tell you, if you are listening to my voice, to tell Nigeria bye-bye, go to Gabon. Gabon will give you land. Gabon will borrow your money to develop your whatever you are doing. And you will employ whoever you want to employ. Even though Igbos may come to Gabon and start working for you. Because Gabon are our own people. Gabonese people are our own people. We all are one. They are the only people that came into our rescue. I know that South Africa is calling Innocent to bring his company to South Africa. Innocent. We shouldn't forget Gabon. That gave us come mail. A little, the little give us this um, 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 salt fish that our people eat and kill, and uh, this uh, what they call this big belly sickness. You know, we shouldn't forget them. If you want to move your business out of Nigeria, please go to Gabon. Even though Nigerians can, Igbos can easily operate in Nigeria because millions of Igbos are there and millions can still come to start working for you. My people. Before I will close for today, I will advise you, looking at that place, you will see what I call Iroko. That Iroko is Iroko.com. 
It's a social media. It works like Facebook. By tomorrow, by God's grace, you will be able to upload your videos. You will be able to share your links. You will be able to do a lot of things. But now you can share your videos. You can write. You can create your page. You can create your group. You can do a lot of things. But the main job got to start tomorrow. Go to iroko.com and create your own account. That iroko.com is for us. Go there and promote what we are doing for ourselves. Today, we are operating on Facebook. Tomorrow, we are going to be more great. Believe me, we will do more good. We will do more better. Our people are blessed potential people. Don't allow anything to distract your attention. Identify yourself with your people. Be with your people. And pronounce yourself what you are. Let me bring the full page of iroko.com. So that is it. Go to iroko.com and Here is iroko.com. You can log in with your Facebook. You can create a new account for yourself. Visit that page, www.iroko.com. Pay their visit. Look around. Put your pictures. Put your cover page. Make friends. Meet people. Chat with them. I am there too. Maybe by next month, you will be able to create your own business pages. If you're into business, you create your business page as you do create it on Facebook. We are trying. We are going somewhere. You know, <laughs> with time, we will be like Facebook. We will be great. We will, we will be ourselves. And this one will be our own. And maybe if, 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 the, if Nigeria starts functioning well, I will move the database to Nigeria so that the database will be operating in Nigeria. It will not be operating in abroad. <laughs> that is what we what we do for ourselves you know i did not go to school to learn programming but god gave it to to me god bless you so be your brothers keep up be among your people go there it is our own it is our own promote it share it invite people send people send the link to people tell them to come in this is siroko.com Connecting people. Connect yourselves. Bring your friends in. Somebody is calling in. Um, uh, I'm getting this message. Uh, one minute. The caller on the line. The caller on the line. I don't know whether I can answer your call from here. One minute. One minute, please. Hello, the call on the line. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Sorry, I cannot hear you. Um, if you have anything to add, you may call me through um through your Facebook um messenger i will be able to pick your call so that others may hear you but i don't have much to say at the moment all i have to say is this go to iroko.com be part of it create your account you will see me there i'm also live on iroko.com add me to your contact let us be friends you know Promote it, invite your people, be part of the making, and God will bless you. So that's all I have for you now. God bless you. Bye-bye for now. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, by tomorrow, I will be live on YouTube with Barrister Emeka, Emeke Siri. There he will talk about Biafran issues, and uh, he call it Biafran um, um, uh, what was the title again? 
Biafra restructuring our, our, our establishment phase two, you know. Um, be there to ask him questions, listen to him, and uh, know what he's saying. God bless you as you come in and be part of what we are doing. At least Facebook have released my key. I will be able to do a lot of things. God bless you. Bye-bye. I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend.